LGB community. I am so excited about this three-part series that we've launched to help you get unstuck. Now, these tips might seem very simple and very basic, but believe you me, they are a game changer. So for our first episode, we are going to focus on you. This one is called Managing Myself. Oh, and it's so, so important. It is crucial on your entrepreneurial journey. I think it's Warren Buffett that said, if you cannot manage your emotions, you cannot manage your money. And so I'm going to take it a step further and say, if you cannot manage yourself, you cannot manage your business well. You can manage it, but you're probably not managing it well. So how do you start managing yourself well? Okay, number one. Our trauma, our past experiences can leave an indelible mark on our psyche. And I've done an extensive talk on the MBB channel around how trauma can get in the way of you growing your business. So I'm going to reiterate it here today because it is important. It's important for you to evaluate where you are. It's important for you to evaluate where you want to go. And then it's important to evaluate what is getting in the way of me getting there. And I can guarantee you at the top of that list is you. Okay, so how do you do this? Right? You're probably asking, Anto, okay, then help me get out of my own way. I always encourage founders, and we've done this on our own program, to get a coach, to get a business coach get a life coach, even take it as far as getting a therapist. So that you have a sounding board for you. You have a sounding board every week, every month, where you're just diving into you, right? A safe space, a space where you can be vulnerable and you can really let it all hang out in a very safe space. Yeah. I know, and I said it in my talk, as black people, we don't believe in therapy. We'd rather rush to church um, and get a, a feel good sermon, but I'm going to encourage you today. As part of your village mix, because believe you me, it takes a village to grow a business. It does. <laughs> And as part of your village mix, make sure that you have a sounding board for you. Someone that you can sit across from every week, be it a therapist, be it a coach. But someone that you can sit across from and just work on you. And I can guarantee you, once you start looking at yourself, once you start dealing, once you start getting out of your own way, the opportunities that it unlocks just from a mindset perspective, where you can go from hustling, where you can go from being in survival mode to really gearing your mind towards building an asset of value. Because that's what we want to do, right? And whatever your exit plan might be, you might decide to exit when you're old and gray. You might decide to exit through an acquisition. You might decide to exit through an IPO. Whatever your exit strategy is, you want to get to a point where you're leaving or building an asset of value that will leave a legacy beyond your exit. Okay, so number one, get a sounding board for you and be that in the form of a coach, or a therapist, but just someone that you can sit across from every week, every month, that can dive in to you. Okay, number two, as part of your village mix, make sure that you get an advisory board, especially for early stage founders, solo entrepreneurs, where you haven't gotten to the stage of having a board of directors, make sure that you have an advisory board. And so this is a sounding board for the business. Listen, an advisory board just adds a fresh level 
of accountability, especially if you're running solo, especially if you're a solo founder, it adds that additional layer of accountability so that you are not out here, for instance, from a financial perspective, swiping your card, your business card all over the place for your personal expenses. Yeah, you don't want to be that person. And so a board of directors or a board of advisors will simply give you that level of accountability that is needed in order for you to take things to that next level. Okay, so you've got your therapist or your coach and you have an advisory board. I can guarantee you simply adding these two very, very crucial elements early on in your journey in order to help you manage yourself is a game changer. Because the board of advisors that you account to on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, whatever you decide that cadence and rhythm is for you, is crucial because they will hold you accountable when it comes to the business. Your coach or your therapist will hold you accountable when it comes to you. Okay, so I cannot reiterate this and say this enough. It is so important, step number one, that you manage yourself. You cannot manage your people well, you cannot manage your suppliers well, you cannot manage your clients well, if you haven't gotten to a place where you are managing yourself well. Okay, story time. <laughs> In my early 20s, as some of you are on the MBB channel and as part of the MBB community know by now, I was in an abusive relationship. And I started my business at 26. Yeah, can't believe um, it's 20 years. Oh, I just look at that 26 year old me and I go, oh, baby girl. <laughs> but anyway, so started in my mother's lounge at 26. And so the period between having been in the abusive relationship to starting my first business wasn't that long. And unfortunately, it had left an indelible mark on me. So much so that my relationship with my male counterparts, my male peers, my male suppliers, my male employees was messy. It really was messy. And so when I look back at that period, I had to get to a point in order for me to scale, in order for me to take things to that next level, in order for me to expand Afrofusion to East Africa. And although that expansion wasn't as successful as I'd hoped it would be, but the experience from it was rich and it was filled with so many lessons. But I couldn't even have taken that step to expand Afrofusion to East Africa if I hadn't dealt. And so late 20s, early 30s started generating revenues, but also lost those revenues. And so I had to take a step back and ask myself some crucial questions. And here's the thing, because of that abusive relationship, I didn't feel worthy. I had a lot of self doubt. And imposter syndrome for me was real. And so I was self-sabotaging. I was self-sabotaging the growth of Afrofusion because of my own issues. And I don't want that for you. So here's the thing. It is crucial. It is so important for you to manage yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there for today. And I'm hoping and one of the key takeaways from this episode for you will be, let me get a coach. Let me get an advisory board to help me get out of my own way. <laughs>